Hi, my name is Roman Lozanov. In this video I will show you how to make a car which is controlled with your iOS device. You will need the following things. The first is Arduino Pro Mini. I've chosen 3 voltage version. It will be enough. Also you will need USB to UART converter or similar. You needed to upload a sketch to your Arduino Pro Mini. You may need to download and install driver for it. Find a link in the description. Next, one motor drive controller based on TB6612FNG chip, although it can control two motors simultaneously, but I use it to control only one. Next, HM11 module. It's a Bluetooth module based on CC2541 chip. I recommend using it because you don't need to set up or do any extra things with this module. It's small and ready to use. You just need to connect it to Pro Mini carefully. Carefully because it has very small contacts on its edge. This diagram shows how you should connect all stuff. Please note, the motor drive controller is upside down here. I did so because all pins on this module are signed on back side. This is how it looks like. I connect a Bluetooth module to Pro Mini through the connectors. In this way I can easily connect or disconnect the module. It's very useful especially for Pro Mini too, because I'm able to upload a sketch whenever I want. In description of the video you will find a link of Arduino sketch. Download it and then upload it to your Arduino Pro Mini. Also, find a link of iOS project to install on your iOS device. Remember that you must be a registered iOS developer to build and install apps on your iOS device. I already have the install app on my iPhone. Finally, let's connect battery server and motor. But first note, I'm using two batteries, a 4.5 voltage battery for Pro Mini, a Bluetooth module and a drive controller, and one 9 voltage battery for server and motor. In this way, such heavily loaded parts at server and motor won't interrupt working of logic part. By the way, it's really important using good alkaline batteries. Motor and server take a lot of energy, so don't use cheap batteries. Here is the working prototype. As you can see, iPhone finds the Bluetooth module when I connect power. Now you only need some chassis. I bought this one. Its name S3003, but you can use any you can find. As you can see, I have already assembled this chassis and connected all stuff. Now I just need to connect my modules.
That's all. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, press like button or share it with your friends. Also, you can support me using link in description. Thank you for watching. Bye.